the Chem 110B sample final number 18 problem. Anybody who misses this, I don't know. We're going to make you work at McDonald's or something. This is as easy as it gets. How many grams of water can be produced by decomposing this stuff? There's the balanced reaction for you. You got one number to start with, so I'd start with that one. That's grams of iron 3 hydroxide. You always want to convert to moles, right? So that you can do the mole to mole ratio. So, how many moles is that? 3 oxygens, 3 hydrogens, and 1 iron weighs a total of 106.85 grams. This is a periodic table step. Convert to moles. Once you're at moles, we look at the mole to mole ratio. They want to know water, so that's a 3 moles of water for every 2 moles of iron 3 hydroxide. Right? That's the mole to mole ratio step. And we convert back out to grams. The molar mass of water is 18.02 grams per one mole. Back out using the periodic table. Four sig figs here. Five here, infinite here, four here, so the answer is going to be four. And what do you get? 4.081 grams. Let's make sure. I've heard some rumors that number's off by a little bit. So let's say 16.15 divided by 106.85 times 3 divided by 2 times 18.02 equals. Yeah, I guess if you do some early rounding, there's a different issue. I guess I'm getting 4.085. Okay, key is six, four sig figs in your answer. You got to be careful with that. But man, that's as easy as it gets. Chem 110A, sample final or final exam, we had a problem just like that. Chapter 7, exercises 7H and I, and also Chapter 10, good places to practice more. And remember, don't just be looking at these videos. you got to get pencil to paper to really learn and know what you're doing. All right, good luck.